Today, it would be Pelicans at home. LeBron scores over 30 points in his fourth game in a row. He's speaking with Mike in the media. LeBron, we knew you've been coming in to dealing with the knee uh, since January, and we saw the ankle. Uh, can you just take us through that? Uh, you know, and if it's similar to anything you've had before, and how you handle it tonight, how you can handle it moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I've turned my ankles before, obviously. Um, you know, tonight was just one of those instances. I actually, I literally just watched a replay where I was going in for an offensive rebound, and me and Jackson basically uh, stepped at the same time. He got his foot on the ground um, before I could get my foot back on the hardwood, and I stepped on his foot and rolled my ankle. Um, I mean, I have no idea how I finished the game, to be honest, after watching that replay. It's pretty nasty. How's it feeling right now? It looked like pretty sore. So you're walking in here and how Oh, you? it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible right now. And uh, unfortunately, we're about to hop on the flight, too. So, um, you know, just got to get treatment around the clock, see what happens day to day. But it's pretty sore right now. How do you just put that in the context with, you know, tonight and how the whole season has gone? I mean, it's just a microcosm of our season, you know, sustain. Uh, we haven't been able to sustain all year. And tonight was one of those instances once again. Okay. This one had implications on the standings, obviously, um, and where you stand now. Eight games left, some road games, some tough opponents. Uh, but despite all the circumstances, we asked Malik Monk like how he feels about the team. He's like, I still believe we got Brown on our side. To have that belief from your teammates, what does it mean to you? But considering the ankle, consider everything facing um, this team, um, do you feel like you can deliver on that belief that, that the guys have? Uh, well, I mean, if I'm healthy, for sure. Um, you know, and, you know, right now, obviously, I'm, you know, pretty banged up, um, you know, with that with that ankle. But, um, you know, I still feel like if I'm on the floor and I can make things happen, then we still got a good chance of trying to make something out of the season. It's been a tough road, obviously, um, tonight being a tough loss for us. Um, but to have that confidence in your teammates, for sure, means a lot for me. It means I'm, you know, doing something well out on the floor when I hit the floor and just try to do whatever I can to help us win basketball games. Yeah. LeBron, to give all that you gave tonight, obviously playing through um, an injury and um, playing as well as you did, you know, building the lead that you guys did and to still come out of here with a loss, what, just what does that feel like kind of in the context of this season? And, and um. I mean, excuse my language, but that's what it feels like. You know, I came in with the mindset, understanding it was a playoff type, uh, it's gonna be playoff type atmosphere, playoff implications and things of that nature. So, you know, um, you know, I knew that from the jump. Um, but we also got a lot of guys on our ball club that haven't played in playoff games as well. That plays a lot of big minutes for us. You know, you have Malik and, you know, Winion, Austin, um, Stan, you know, who, um, you know, Taylor is pretty much not, you know, not accustomed to it as well. So, um, you know, we're trying to bottle that in and try to help the young guys understand how, you know, the magnitude of it. And um, they got guys who've been in the postseason. Um, but, um, you know, it feels like a wasted opportunity, um, obviously, uh, for myself and for our team, and we weren't able to get it done. Just when you talk about all those stakes and then also the, the pain you're in now, would you have played through? Would, is it something you would have played through if this was just felt more like one of 82? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I mean, from the time that I turned my ankle, I felt a, a sharp pain run on my leg. It started getting hot, and I've been there before with, with ankle sprains before. So, um, but I wasn't. I didn't want to come out of the game because I understood. It. I mean, I just wanted to win the game. Understood how big of a game it was for us, LeBron. I guess kind of along these lines, like you guys have shown it flashes. I mean, like you're up 23 in this game. You're hitting shots. The ball is zipping around, playing with pace and energy on both sides. But like you guys are also the same team that can score 14 in a fourth quarter. Um, what's it been like processing that sort of those, those wild swings? and kind of what this team has been all year and is it just exhausting to, to kind of I mean, I, I mean we just we are who we are i mean there's no um it's not much of a process and when you you know you know you can go out and score 35 and a quarter 40 in a quarter um you know hold a team 18 and a quarter but then you also know that you can give up 40 in a quarter in the same game you know so 
Um, yeah, it's frustrating, obviously, but I mean, we are who we are, and it's not. It's not like you know, trying to figure out something more than that. LeBron, schematically, how much do you feel like your ankle affected the game plan? What you guys intended to come in doing? Um, what you guys were able to do in the second half? I mean, obviously, it seemed like you had a, a lot of discomfort, and and what was sort of what decisions were made after that? Well, for me personally, I just lost all explosiveness, obviously. Um, so a lot of my games tonight was played on the perimeter after that fact. Um, you know, couldn't really, you know, get into the lane like I would have loved to. Put a little bit more pressure on them. I mean, we only shot 16 free throws as a team. Um, I mean, I shot six out of them. One of them was a technical foul. So um, that took away from me, um, from, from what I wanted to do in the interior. But, you know, I feel like I just, you know, Try to do what I could do, you know, with the mobility that I had out on the floor. Try to make plays. LeBron, I feel like we've just been kind of dancing around this. Do you feel like this ankle injury is something that could cost you games here? Um, I hope not, because I don't I hate missing games. That's just not in my nature. So um, I've already started the process, um, you know, of, of treatment right after the game. I got on it right away. And obviously, um, I'll get more done on the flight. We land in Dallas tonight, uh, around o'clock tomorrow, and um, see how I feel on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, correct, <clears throat> and go from there. So um, I hate missing games. That's just it's not in my makeup. Quick, Bob. Um, you you kind of alluded to this with just sort of the difference in the experience on your team, and you guys are playing a bunch of guys who haven't been through this before. D does everybody kind of understand the stakes, do you think, the, the way that you do right now? Um, right now I do. It's impossible. Everybody? Dude. I mean, I've been to 10 finals. I mean, it's impossible. <laughs> I guess, but I mean, like like the situation right <laughs> no, now. No, it's impossible. That's a fair point. Yeah, it's impossible. I mean, we have guys that, that understand it. I mean, we have a bunch of vets as well. Um, you know, I, I believe myself, you know, Russ, Mello, you know, um, you know, AD, and we're, you know, he understands it, but he's not in uniform. Um, you know, Dwight, he's been through the trenches. Um, you know, but a lot of our other vets aren't playing. Wayne's not playing. Trevor's not playing. Bates is not playing. Um, they understand it, but they're not playing. Um, so, you know, it's just uh, it's, it's tough. Uh, it's tough, and, you know, having a, you know, we have a bunch of newcomers that's, you know, helping us out tremendously on the floor because we need it, you know, but as far as the experience, you know, with all of us, we haven't had enough. We haven't had enough, and a lot of guys haven't had enough individually as well. CJ McCollum with 18 points for the Pelicans. Lakers have lost three out of four. We'll wrap things up after the break.